Hey everybody and thank you for joining me at the Alter Ego Report. I'm John Griffin and today we are going to be reviewing the video game Injustice 2. The storyline isn't quite on par with the first game. Once Brainiac realizes he's missing a couple of Kryptonians from his collection, namely Superman and Supergirl, he heads to Earth for full-on takeover, the battle ensues, and it's up to Batman to make a decision. Does he free Superman from his cell, use his help in the fight against Brainiac, or does he still not trust him enough? The gameplay is exciting, fun, and action-packed, a huge step up from the first game. There's a lot of fun to be had here whether you're into single-player combat or strictly online gaming, there's something for everyone in Injustice 2. What I really liked about this game were the fight mechanics, a big improvement over the first game where essentially all the moves, all the character plays, everything is a lot faster, a lot smoother than in the previous game. That's embarrassing. If you're into online gaming, which most people who purchase this game are, you're going to find a ton of things to love about this game. The action is great, I found very little lag time on the online combat, and everything worked very smoothly. For players who are more into single player combat like myself, you'll find that Injustice 2 gives you way more than the first Injustice game. The single player combat story took me roughly about 7 hours to complete, which is usually not enough to justify me hitting that $60 price tag up. However, there's more than just a single player story mode. There's also multiverse mode, which allows you to go into and find different Earths, you battle different variations of different DC characters, you earn points, and you're able to use these points in order to upgrade your characters. Now for those players who are new to fighting games, you might find Injustice 2 just a tad intimidating. There is a basic tutorial at the beginning of the game that goes over the bare minimum of moves However, the timing of some of these moves in order to pull them off correctly are so specific and so intricate that it's definitely going to frustrate first-time gamers. Let's talk about the visuals of this game. Every cutscene looks fantastic, and even the in-game playing looks way better than it did on the PS3 version of Injustice Gods Among Us. It's just business. <laughs> God said you couldn't resist a good crisis. Eobard Thawne? You don't belong here. And miss the return of Barry Allen? Character movements are incredibly lifelike. Facial features look extremely realistic, especially on a couple of different characters. Batman, Superman, The Flash, all look fantastic. Some players don't get quite the same detail, come off a little flat, Gorilla Grodd being one of them, and there's one or two that just don't quite hit the same level of detail as the other main characters, but overall this is still a very, very beautiful game to watch. Everyone's favorite super moves are back, my favorite being Flash. The downside is, all the characters still only have one super move, so after the first few times of seeing it, you just kind of want to get it over with already. So this game is not perfect, but as far as fighting games goes, it's still extremely enjoyable. There's a huge cast of characters, a huge roster of DC characters who everybody can find something to love about this game. Whether it's online, single player, you're going to find something you love about Injustice 2. As I said, another downside of this game is the story just isn't quite on par with the first game. It still follows that darker tone than what we're used to, but it's also just so joyless. There are only a handful of characters that even have slightest bit of humor thrown into their lines. Most people are just so drab that it, even though you're fighting and kicking a lot of butt, it's hard to get really invested in this new story. I did have a lot of fun with Injustice 2. I probably won't go back and play that story mode again anytime soon, but the multiverse mode and the online mode definitely helps improve my overall enjoyment of this game. I'm going to give Injustice 2 a 7.5 out of 10. 
Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video review of Injustice 2. If you want to see more, head on over to the website at ultraegoreport.com where we do more in-depth reviews of video games, movies, and comic books. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of Injustice 2.